Our annual theme for the year 2024, rooted in Christ and reaching out within the context of our mission. Rooted in Christ, nourishing our spiritual soil. Imagine a mighty tree that stands tall, its branches stretching toward the sky. Beneath the surface, hidden from the view, lies roots. These roots plunge deep into the soil, anchoring the tree firmly. They are the lifeline, drawing sustenance and stability from the earth. Similarly, when deeply grounded in Christ, we become like those roots, firmly anchored, drawing spiritual nourishment from our faith. To be rooted in Christ means more than mere affiliation. It is about being firmly established in Him. He becomes our compass, our true north. Our faith, identity and purpose find their source in Him. Just as a tree's roots shape its growth, our relationship with Christ shapes aspects of our lives. It influences our thoughts, actions and how we relate to others. We find strength in Him, especially during life's storms. Reaching out, extending our branches to the vulnerable. But there is more. Our rootedness in Christ is not self-contained. It bears fruit, just as the tree's branches stretch wide, offering abundant fruit, we extend our service beyond ourselves. The marginalized, the impoverished, the vulnerable become our focus. We reach out, not just with words, but with tangible acts of compassion. This is where our mission comes alive. Pope Francis' call and our clear response. Pope Francis, a shepherd with a heart tuned to the cries of the world, emphasizes the dual calling of rootedness in Christ and outreach to the poor. His words resonate across continents, urging us to embody Christ's love. Introspection, the litmus test. And so, as we gather, whether in festal celebration or quiet reflection, we pause. We ask ourselves, am I truly rooted in Christ? This introspection becomes a litmus test, revealing our spiritual depth. It's not about mere tradition, it's about transformation. Are our roots sinking deep into the soil of faith? Are our branches reaching out to touch lives, especially those most in need? Dear friends, this year's theme beckons us. Let's be like that tree, firmly rooted, branches extending, bearing fruit. Let's live out our mission, guided by the gospel truths and the love of God. For in this rootedness, we find purpose, and in our outreach, we discover grace. May this theme infuse every gathering, every conversation, and every act of service. May it be etched in our hearts, shaping our journey as a community rooted in Christ. Rootedness in Christ, nurturing our spiritual soil. Individual and community prayer, a living witness. Do we demonstrate that every individual sister is rooted in prayer? This question invites us to examine our personal prayer lives. Beyond individual prayer, do our communities collectively live out their prayers? Our prayer gatherings should be moments of grace, where we draw strength from one another and lift our intentions to God. Disturbed spiritual ambience, diagnosing the disquiet. Why is our spiritual ambience sometimes disturbed? This introspective query prompts us to explore the root causes 
Perhaps distractions, busyness, or complacency have crept in. Maybe unresolved conflicts or unhealed wounds disrupt our peace. As a community, we must address these disturbances. Let's create sacred spaces, both physically and within our hearts, where God's presence can flourish. Irregular prayer life, a call to consistency. Why are some of us irregular in maintaining a regular prayer life? This question nudges us to examine our priorities. Life's demands can pull us away from prayer, but consistency matters. Let's recommit to daily communion with God. Regularity in prayer isn't legalism. It's an expression of love. Just as we nourish our bodies with regular meals, our souls need consistent spiritual nourishment. Deficiencies and Complaints A Wake-up Call Complaints about irregular attendance at Mass, lack of enthusiasm for confession, no examination of conscience or inconsistent prayer routines reveal spiritual deficiencies. These gaps diminish the beauty of our religious life. Let's address these issues with compassion. Encourage one another gently. Celebrate progress rather than criticize shortcomings. Remember, we are all on this journey together. Reaching out within our mission context. Mission success decline, a call to adjust. Setbacks in our missions are not failures. They are opportunities to make changes. Some once successful ministries may have diminished, but this is a chance for revival. Let's accurately evaluate what is effective and what requires modification. Stay open to new approaches. Adaptability ensures relevance. Mission Participation Reviving Enthusiasm Sometimes our involvement in missions dwindles. Let's reignite the enthusiasm, share impactful stories, the moments when lives were transformed, celebrate small triumphs, they are significant. Remind each other why we are devoted to this cause. Our calling is not monotonous, it is a sacred duty. Launching new ministries, bravery in the face of difficulties. Finding it challenging to establish relevant ministries is normal. The environment changes and so must our strategies. Look for inspiration from the Holy Spirit. Collaborate with fellow sisters. Innovate boldly. Bravery is a companion. The following steps will strengthen our mission. Collective responsibility. Every ministry operates in the name of the congregation for the people and to glorify God. No one owns a ministry. It's a joint venture. Foster this collective responsibility by conducting regular evaluations and planning at community and province or regional levels. Encourage provincials and regional superiors to visit, understand and evaluate community ministries and collaboratively evaluate and plan ministries every three months. To revitalize our ministries, we must renew our commitment and remain vigilant. This vigilance will prevent us from becoming complacent. Additionally, to empower sisters and infuse renewed energy into our ministries, we should cultivate a culture of innovation and adaptability, embrace fresh ideas and perspectives, and empower individual sisters to contribute their unique gifts. Unity is vital for the growth of vibrant ministries. By harnessing our collective strength, we can foster a sense of unity and collaboration within our community. It's important to maintain regular communication, provide feedback, and conduct evaluations to ensure that we are working together effectively 
and moving towards our shared goals. Above all, let prayer and discernment guide us. Aligning our efforts with God's will empowers us to overcome obstacles and reach our highest potential. Remember, dear sisters, our rootedness in Christ fuels our outreach. As we engage with the context of our mission, may our hearts burn with love for those we serve.